Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Pebs. First, 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 let's say I have a cold. You can probably hear it in my voice. I am not sounding the way I should. I have been struck down with the flu that is going around. I'm struggling to paint sitting still and painting is not easy. Even talking is not the easiest thing either. But we are going to try and go through this. This beautiful box should have arrived last week. Sadly, Canadian Customs decided to fuck around with it, and it took a little longer to get it. And then UPS decided to go back and forwards. But it's finally here. They had opened the box. Uh, it looks like they took the saran wrap off the box as well. They put the other miniature that I got in the box. So thank you very much, Customs. You're a wonderful group of human beings. Right. So, why did I buy this? Right, first off, I've been thinking of doing bolt action for a while. Um, I actually was emailing the amazing Paul Sawyer earlier this year about doing bolt action. And he was uh, he was very helpful. And then I unfortunately heard the news about him, which is terrible. And when I saw they brought out a special charity miniature, I knew I had to get it. So he, that model is in here. We'll talk about that when we get to it. But look how big this box is. It's ridiculous. Look at it, you get a tank, you get troops, there's so many troops, I'm not even sure this will fit under the camera. So that should be the Germans. Americans, tank, and the Germans there. And then the Americans. Back of the box, there is so much in this box, it is ridiculous. So you get the A5 rulebook, the Battle of Bulge scenario and assembly booklet. 24 hard plastic US infantry, 18 German Fulschmerger paratroopers, I'm gonna butcher these names guys, uh, one hard plastic M8 Greyhound armored car that can also make an M20 scout car, one hard plastic ruined farmhouse terrain piece, which looks nice, uh, a stack card, I don't, it's probably up here, a full color water slide, Decal sheet, vehicle damage markers. It's got to be these, right? All these. Plastic templates and tokens, plastic pin markers, six sided dice, and the bolt action order dice. Like I said, I have never played bolt action. I know of its existence. I do have some miniatures on Sprue. I think they are the British 8th in their desert gear. This will be my first full on diving into the system. Now, if the video seems a bit choppy, it's most likely because I've stopped the cough. Don't want you guys to hear it, so edit might be a bit choppy now and again. We get a nice little velvet dice bag. Now, the Paul Sawyer, or Sergeant Sawyer charity model. This was the whole reason for buying this. If it wasn't for this model, I probably wouldn't have bought Bolt Action just yet. But I wanted to get the free shipping. But look at it. It's beautiful. It's made out of uh, white metal. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in. There we go. He's saluting. He's reading his little chapbook. Got this lump here to cut off. Now, my Paul Sawyer is going to join my Judge Dread. He is going to be part of the city dev for my uh, block. I think that's the best way to use him. I'm not going to mess around with the model, but I am going to paint him up to look like the Blue Bloods, which is my city dev unit. And he is going to be a command model. So expect to see that in a future video. This box is packed. Now, looking at it, annoyingly, customs, thank you once again. You shredded the corner of the box. Let's get that on camera. Thank you. Hopefully you didn't f*** up too much inside. Very annoyed. They do it with every Warlord parcel that gets sent to me. They just like rip the damn thing apart and check everything. It's really annoying. This is a beast of a book. Look at that. That is thick. What are we looking at? Whoa, there is 320 pages full color. Love it. Like I said, I have no idea about rules. Let me know if you want videos on bolt action, and I'll see if I can do them. 
I got a list of videos that I'm trying to do. But I'll try and get around to all of them at some point. We then get a little background booklet on the Battle of Bulge. Talks about assembling your models. These are just beautiful kits. The M8 Greyhound. The Paratroopers. Example forces, that's always nice to see. So the German force is worth three points more than all the American stuff put together. It seems because they're all veteran squads. And we've got some scenarios that we can work through. A beautiful two-page piece of art. A little bit about painting the models, building the armored car. You could either build it as the M8, which will look like this scout car here. Or you can build it as the M8 Greyhound armored car. I'm going to build the armored one, as that's how it looks in this game. And then it tells you what you could buy next to build out your forces. And then there's a little play sheet on the back. We then get another play sheet. I do love when you get stuff like this. I really wish the 2000 AD would have things like this. There's also rulers that you can cut out in case you don't have a ruler. There's so much stuff. The box was packed by Alexandra. Thank you very much. And we got the Greyhound stack card. Very nice. I assume these logos show what countries can use them. Maybe. Uh, we then have the farmhouse sprue. It's got some detail on it. It's going to be fun. This is like heavy plastic as well. It's very nice. And then the second farmhouse sprue. We then have the armored car. So far, everything looks pretty good. Customs didn't mess around with it too much. We then got Maria. Packed our dice. Thank you very much. And then uh, Mirella packed the rest of it. Got a little flame tokens. I think these are the pinned blast markers. They are nice and thick as well. Warlord Games, your plastic is epic. Uh, who do we have here? This is the, uh, the Jaeger, the paratroopers. German paratroopers, we get one sprue of that. Who's this one? Two sprues of the paratroopers. Then we've got the Americans. Got one, two, I'm just double checking. That's the German one. So free German. And it looks like four American. We then have, oh, a little loose base in the bottom here. We then have all the bases and some templates. So yeah, let me know in the comments, do you want a, a beginner's guide to bolt action? I'm not saying it's gonna happen this year, but at some point, this is something that I wish to dive into. Let me know if there's something you're interested in, please do reach out. Otherwise, thank you for stopping in. I hope my voice didn't annoy you too much and I'll catch you very soon. Cheers for watching.